Hi, we're in the commercial bake shop and I have one of my students, Joey, scaling out some hard rolled dough for us. So first he's gonna balance out the balance scale. Okay, so he has the weight on the one side and the scoop on the other side, they weigh the same amount. And now he's gonna look at the formula, which we have over here, and he's gonna put the weights on that he needs. So I believe he needs seven pounds of flour, and this is bread flour. Joey, what are you getting next after the bread flour? After that, I'm getting half a pound of shortening. Perfect. So after this, we generally put away the flour and then get the next ingredient, but he's going to go right to that next ingredient and put it on here. We could put up to 10 pounds on this balanced scale. Anything over that, it, the ingredients start to fall off. So now he went over a little bit. He's going to level it out. And now he'll put the next ingredient. He'll put the weights on for the next ingredient. So we're adding to what we already have there. What was that, one pound, eight ounces or eight ounces? It's just half a pound. Half a pound, okay. So we put eight ounces on there. We're gonna do the one on the right, the all-purpose shortening. That's the left. We're going to go to the other right. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Right over there. Brief, yeah. I'll show you around a little bit why he's getting the gloves. This is our 80 quart mixer. When we make our large batches of dough or icings like buttercreams or cake batters, this is another one and they can actually be 40 quart mixers. We have two different bowls that go on them. Back to Joey here. He's gonna dive right in and get that shortening, the all purpose shortening, and do it until he gets eight ounces on there and it's nice and level. Oh. Now he's gonna pinch a little piece off and we are good. He's gonna continue scaling this out and then we'll come back when it's time to mix. Thanks, Joey. So we put the ingredients in. So we have made our dough, it has fermented. Now we are gonna pull it out of our bowl and we're gonna put it on our bench. We're gonna use a little flour as possible because we don't want a tough dough. Okay, thank you. Okay, now that we have the dough on the bench, we have it covered so it doesn't form a skin and we're gonna cut it into four pound presses. How'd you do? 4.85. Okay, so take a little bit off. So 1.54. <laughs> okay. That's perfect. Okay, now we're gonna put it next, right next to this. You You're gonna cut another one? Nope. You're gonna cut another one and the girls are gonna uh, make a press out of it. So one of you girls, press it down. You're gonna press the air out, okay? And you know how we made rolls before those Kaiser rolls? We pushed everything into the center. We're gonna do it. Push it all into the center. Kind of keep it around it. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, and bring that. Yes, thank you. Ooh, it's hot. It's yeah. nice and warm. Okay, now flip no. it over. Okay, now we're gonna round that. Okay, so that's good. And then after you do that, you're doing a nice job. We're going to cover this so this doesn't get a skin and we're going to allow it to rest a little bit. We don't rest the gluten. What happens, girls? 
tough. It gets tough, and what happens to it? <laughs> will it stretch or will it not stretch? It won't stretch. Right. It does not want to stretch. It's going to want to spring back. Okay. Thank you, girls. Here we go. Maria is going to take our dough press that we let rest. She put some flour down. And on top of, what's this piece of machine called? A sheeter. It's called a sheeter. What's a sheeter going to do? Uniform thickness. Of what? The dough, dough, right? And how do we do that? You have a crank on this side. Mm-hmm. And then you push one of the buttons. Right. You, there you go. Make sure you push the right button so it goes the right way. <laughs> there we go. Okay. It's going to go all the way through. You're going to push the red button now. Okay, the red button. Great. Okay, bring it down about four. And go ahead. Make sure you push the red button when it goes through. And bring it back. Now, we want to keep this round because we're going to put it in our dough press. So, can you bring the... Right, right over here. We want it to fit into here. We're going to put some flour in that. So, it doesn't stick on the bottom a little bit more. Okay, so right now the dough is oval. It's not going to fit in there and it's too small. So you're going to turn that dough. Okay, and you're going to sheet it some more and you're going to hold that. Great. What number are we on now? We are on 12. Okay. I think we're probably going to go down to about 9. Okay, and then 9 and we should be good. Yeah. Okay. So put that on top of it just to see, visualize. Yep. We should be good. Okay. So now fold the dough in half and then in fourths. Perfect. I'm going to put it in and open it up. We don't want it going up the side, so we're going to shrink it in. Great. Now what are we going to use? The dough divider. Dough divider. And how many pieces is it going to divide our dough into? 36 equal pieces. 36 equal pieces. Okay, so it's going to put that in. We're going to bring down the long handle. Okay, and now that black handle we're going to push, and that's uh, going to cut it, actually. It's going to allow it to cut. Okay, push it down a couple times. One more time. Okay, now let it go. Okay, pull it out. Beautiful, 36 equal pieces. Now we're gonna bring it to our bench and start shaping it. So we're gonna make single knots and double knots, and we're gonna make something called a clover rolls. So the girls are now pre-shaping, and then we're gonna go back and make the uh, types of dinner rolls that we want. Okay, my students have been busy making single knots. We're going to put these in the proof box after and once they double in size we're going to egg wash them and we are going to bake them and now we made some double knots they did a nice job now we're going to make some clover rolls okay our dough has finished proofing now we're going to bring them over and we're going to egg wash them. Just pulling one down at a time. So our egg wash is just water and egg. We did one braid earlier. And then she's just going to go through all the knots and do the knots. And we could put seeds on these knots if we wanted to. Leave them plain. Great job, doing a beautiful job. All right, we also made some clover rolls that we're gonna just put some oil on the top instead of the egg wash. And then after we're done, we're gonna put it in the oven. So this is our rack. It holds 20 sheet trays and we're gonna put it in our rack oven and it will cook, bake them all at one time. Okay, we're gonna put our rack Okay. We're going to roll it in. We're connected on the top. We have our students do this normally, but they're getting changed to their home. We're going to 
and shut the door. And put the timer on. If we were making hard roll dough, we have a steam button and it would put steam in there. But we're not. So this will pick it up and spin it. Show them that. I don't know if it's really clear or not, but there it goes. Look at that.